Hi, I'm Latanya Yvette. I am a writer, I'm an author, I'm a creative, and I'm also the landkeeper of the May House. The May House is a home that I purchased in the spring of 2021. And um, I purchased it with the seed money actually of a book that I'm currently writing on home and how we make it and on objects and stories, but also has a lot to do with migration and design and what we create out of the spaces that we're given and the stories that we embed in those spaces with objects, but also with our bodies. Um, and so the May House started out as a research project and I actually bought it as one of my first thing I've ever purchased in my life. <laughs> um, and part of even designing it and offering it to people, um, it's also a rental, but those rentals subsidize um, rest as residencies programs, which they're not really programming. They actually are just asking people of color, black people as well, just to come and rest and it's not contingent on their labor. Um, and part of that offering was part of my research and also part of my life as an author and a writer and as a mother, realizing that the spaces that were offered to rest, that are welcoming, that are warm, that are designed well, are very few and far between. The color expert and I chose tallow for the bedroom upstairs for its ability to create a tranquil environment while also pulling in the elements from outside the bedroom. So for the community den, the colors that the color consultant and I chose were pelt for the walls and then ammonite for the ceilings and then there's strong light on the floors. Um, for me, I grew up being obsessed with the book Tar Beach, which I have at the house. And it was really important because the room actually acts as a center um, for the three bedrooms, uh, that it felt almost like you were like at, actually on a rooftop and at night watching a movie and was able to host these rooms. So it's actually the darkest room in the house, um, but it's also the coziest uh, and it, I think, helps my opinion bring, bring the space together. So for the second bedroom we chose barbed light for the walls and a sticky blue for the trim and for the door um, and that room previously had a closet, a walk-in closet that we knocked down and then we put the two bunk bins in there and for that room it was really important to again create a, an environment that felt multi-layered so at first it seems like the kids room because it's blue but actually the bunk beds are queen and full-size bunk beds so it's for adults um, and part of my sort of design inspiration was having a space that spoke to the inner child and all of us while also being elevated um, with the color choices. So for the kitchen and dining room, the color consultant and I chose James White for the walls and also Pinoir for the kitchen cabinets. And it was important to choose a neutral that had a color sort of embedded in it. So James White has a little bit of a green tint, um, but it's neutral enough so where a lot of the light sort of flows through the space and it's and it's a good off tone for, for the Pinoir. When I met the color expert, uh, she had the mood board prior, and then when we worked together to pick out the colors, it was just seamless and completely easy. And it actually inspired me to continue on with the process of the renovation and be able to put, pull the pieces of the furniture um, from that point, that starting point with her onward. What I loved most about working with the color expert was that they got the story of the house. They got the, the layout dressed by photos and virtual, you know, virtual video and was able to collaborate with me to actually bring that to life. Okay, 
So when the whole home was finished, I felt completely relieved, <laughs> to be honest, and elated that what was in my head, but also what we had been working on in the back end was real. And But of course, its reality was slightly different. It felt um, more tangible than pictures that I pulled together. Um, and a lot of that also has to do with the color because you're moving through each room, but actually the, the feeling emotionality of the room travels with you and so I am feeling relieved and also just want to be here more. <laughs> so I would recommend color consultancy to someone else um, just because even if you have your own vision like I felt like I had and even if your previous life was a stylist like my life was it helps synthesize actually your desires and your dreams and I think also having a reference point and a person who knows the information about the color, the information about the finish, the, the, the action, you know, can kind of come from the outside into the space is super helpful if you're doing a full renovation or even if you're just painting a wall, um, just having a third party is essential.